Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I've got lots of goodies from Beads of the Month Club to open up with you all for July 2023. These are of course the rotation that I received and if you are a subscriber to one of the Beads of the Month Clubs you may have received something different depending on your rotation and what their stock is looking like. But one of the most exciting things that I have today is their brand new Crystals Companion Pack. It's a new offering that you can choose to add on if you are a subscriber to one of their regular bead clubs. So similar to their Findings Companion Pack, which I also have to open up, this Crystals add-on sort of fills in the void of what used to be their Swarovski Crystal Club since they used to have that to offer as one of their main bead clubs prior to Swarovski going away and not continuing with their DIY crystal business available to the public. So this add-on is optional. Like I said, it's an additional $15.95 per month if you'd like to add it on to your bead club. And there's no additional cost for shipping this, just like the Findings Companion Pack. And while these aren't Swarovski crystals, it says in the information on their website, that these are very high quality Austrian crystal beads. Yes, from Austria. And these will not include the crystal pearls. So you'll only see things such as bicones, crystal rounds, and other crystal shapes, similar to the selections you see here. But as usual, a fun surprise every month, something a little bit different. So for this video, I'm actually going to be going through everything from Beads of the Month Club that I received this time around condensing it into one video. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to share a little bit more information about what you can expect here for the next couple of months. You may have noticed that it's been a little bit quieter and you're absolutely right. I want to assure you that everything is fine. This is just something that I need to do personally, taking a bit of a reprieve from creating new content so we can hopefully have lots more beating fun in the future. So besides their new crystal companion pack, which I will link to right down below the video, I have three of their beading club options plus the findings companion pack. I've got the double size version of the fire polish beads club of the month and the single sizes of the two hole beads and the hot and trendy beads of the month clubs. Those two happen to be a couple of my favorites. And then I'm also on that rotation in that double size club, that's an option you can sign up for that will rotate you through all the different clubs that they have to offer. You'll find all the details you need to know about signing up and about all their different clubs on their website, which they have just revamped and it is beautiful. So if you haven't checked it out or if it's been a while since you've been to their site, you'll want to take a look at it with its new modern layout that is also very user friendly. If you decide to sign up for one of their clubs, I do have a coupon code as well that will be down below. That coupon is OPAL10, O-P-A-L-10, and you can use that to save 10% off the first month of your first bead club. So without further ado, let's get into our crystals and see this very first package and what is in store. On the front, everything is listed as to the contents that you see inside, and I do like the fact that it says that they've included a free extra Swarovski 8mm Rose Peach Cube for quality comparison, so that should be good. Looks like there's two of those to compare, so we'll be able to do a side-by-side. -side. And these, of course, every month will not only rotate in the different shapes of crystals, but also different color palettes. Again, this is just an example of one that you could receive. And doing our flip over, it looks like I've gotten some pinks and some peach there in those cubes. And at this point, we can take a closer look at these crystals, which will supplement some of the other beading clubs that we'll be going through. In our first bag on the list, we have a total of six of the rose drop pendants in the 11 by 5.5 millimeter size, which are cut so precisely from that peak at the bottom, the faceting all around, that wider pear shape, the clean, flat, smaller top, and the area where the hole is drilled, all in this medium to light shade of a sort of bubblegum pink, which you can also take a look at here as the light is able to pass through them and allows you to see the color a little bit easier as I'm holding that up. Next up, the second bag brings us 30 pieces of the same rose color, but this time in rose shimmer, bicone shape in the four millimeter size. 
They've got that extra coating on the outside that appears to be similar to an AB finish. So we get the extra iridescence and reflective quality in addition to the medium pink color. So those two coordinate really well. And I can confirm that the quality of these and those drop pendants as well are excellent. And with this next item, that's where we'll get to do the actual side-by-side -side with some Swarovski cubes in order to compare the two. So here are the two bags, the bag on the left obviously containing the Swarovski cubes in the 8mm size, and then the set of two of those on the right, the type that you can expect in these crystal companion packs going forward. And here is an actual side-by-side -side comparison. I am noticing that the Swarovski appear to be a smidgen larger, even though they're both considered 8 millimeters in size. So that might be one thing to note about the difference. But as far as the way they're cut, the shape, the faceting, the quality of everything, you notice the holes are cleanly drilled. There's no scratches, no cracks or anything. And that color is pretty much identical to what you see in the Swarovski Peach. Really difficult just on this type of a side-by-side -side to see any difference between the two. So I think if you like Swarovski and that quality of crystals, you should definitely be happy with the quality you'll see in these packs. And I'm so glad they're offering this as an optional add-on, especially if you really miss that little bit of sparkle found in those really special Austrian crystal bead shapes, which I think in particular would be a great add-on for their gemstone bead subscription, but any of them really if you enjoy working with these types of items. So that's an example of something that you can expect to find in one of those companions, and they also have two pictures on their website if you go to that page where it discusses this pack. So you can get an idea for a couple other examples of what you might expect to find inside. So those are really stunning. And for their next companion pack I'll be sharing that contains the findings, this one is in the Black Assortment 2. And that's very exciting to me. I loved the first Black Assortment that they had sent before because it's something different than silver or gold or a lot of the standard metallic tones that you see. Even though those are great and important to have too, these black bindings are really actually pretty striking and can be just the right touch for specific projects. So for the findings, if you want to add on one of these packs to your monthly bead subscription, it's an additional $12.95 with no additional shipping cost if you're in the U.S. And if you are an international subscriber, you'll just want to contact them to get more information about any additional costs that might be incurred for shipping in that case, which will vary by situation. So if you subscribe to this one as well, every single time you're going to get a different color of metallic type of component. They're all going to coordinate together though and give you the opportunity to be able to put multiple things together with coordinating findings. That can be very helpful too if you don't already have a stash built up of similar colors. And instead of sending you the absolute basics, they do include some of those, but you'll find a lot of really unique components that you may not have thought to pick up or may have not seen somewhere else, which can be a great source of inspiration and another fun surprise aspect to these packages. So we'll flip this over. There is a preview of how these look inside of the package. We're gonna, of course, go through everything and look at these contents up close one at a time. So I'll show you the earring findings together first. We have two pairs of each in the 13 millimeter lever back style and also in the 20 gauge fish hook style with the stoppers included. Those having in particular a really high quality, simple and maybe more handmade or crafted look, especially how they get a little bit more narrow at the very end of that area, really subtle but nice detail there. And now we have a segment of two and a half feet of the five millimeter oval cable chain. These do have wide open links, so it can be used for a variety of purposes. And it does appear that the links will twist open. I haven't tested that out, but I'm looking and I think I see a seam there. So that will allow you to take the chain apart or break it up and use it in a multitude of different ways. Also, of course, 
matching our other black findings with the black chain being probably not something that everybody has already in their stash. So it's one of those other things that will help you to create something from start to finish in that same color. They've also included a set of four of the ball head pins in the two inch length. These are a 22 gauge size and also a lobster clasp with the swivel. So not just a basic lobster clasp, but having that ability to flex and move a little bit with your jewelry back there, allowing this to lay very nicely. And this just having a very solid and smooth black coating, along with these ball head pins that have that bit of a beaded detail at the bottom. And that brings us to a 25 by 12 millimeter wing with cutout component, which can be used for a variety of different purposes, leaving this as simple and clean as you want to leave it, but also giving you the opportunity to layer this type of component with some beadwork, especially since it's got so many of those different openings. There's lots of areas there to connect to or to weave onto and even incorporating this into some wire jewelry if you like working with that. So it's one of those inspirational pieces. It might give you an idea depending on what you like to work with. It could even be used as a fringe component, hanging beaded fringe off the bottom using this in a pendant, and even perhaps incorporating this into a cocktail ring if you use your imagination layering this underneath some beads, and the possibilities go on. This next piece I love, and I do remember getting this with a clear crystal rhinestone in the center. At least it was very similar to this, this very special clasp that adds a really high quality touch, especially once you incorporate this into your beadwork. It's also very sturdy and stable. This hook section here, it's got a couple of holes located on that side. And there's a couple holes located on this side so you can weave right into it. And the mechanism is magnetic, so you can just flip that open and insert the loop and then flip that back in order to close it. And the final two items included, we have two of the toggle clasp with the heart details. You can see that coordinates on both the bar and the loop portion, which do have the same appearance on both the front and the back. And there's also a set of 12 of the oval jump rings in the six by five millimeter 20 gauge size. Those toggle loops are also something you can use as a connector if you don't wanna use those as a clasp. So keep that in mind too, as another way to use those. And that is another well-rounded Findings Companion Pack assortment, this time in black. Next month will be something totally different, typically in your standard metallic tones, but once in a while you get something different like this in, say, a black or something that is in a bright color, but all in packs that are meant to coordinate with each other, just like this one where you have those staples, but also some really interesting and detailed pieces, just like that clasp in particular and that wing cutout component. And now for the bead clubs, I'm gonna start with the double fire polish club of the month. This one containing, of course, check glass fire polish beads in a variety of eight different tubes. And this double size club being twice the size in terms of the quantities of beads you'll receive. Still, you would receive eight containers in the single size, you just get twice the amount in each of those tubes with any of the double clubs. So it's just another one of those options you can pick out when you are looking to subscribe, depending on how much you want to have to work with and how much you want to spend. So just like all their beading clubs, this one comes in a coordinating color palette. The package I have here in the theme called Daybreak, so perhaps some warm colors. And as we flip this over, we see Indeed, some warm tones and metallics. I'm seeing some amber colors, a lot of different tones of gold, and a little bit of red in there too, all in different sizes and shapes of fire polish beads. And you're more than welcome to sign up for this specific club and receive these fire polish beads every single month, or you can sign up for the rotation, which is what this is on, and that will cycle you through all the different clubs that they have to offer. But right now, let's go ahead and take a look at our eight fire polished varieties.
Each selection is going to come in one of these clear rectangular flip top tube containers, which I happen to love and reuse in my beading storage system anyway. So I'm always happy to get extra containers from these clubs. And I'm probably going to be taking these out since we have these and two other clubs to go through in this video. But this just to show you that they come packaged nice and neat and safely tucked inside each of these reusable containers. This first selection holding the matte Apollo gold rosebud beads in the six by five millimeter size, there's 40 pieces included. And looking at these up close, you can see they have a pressed rosebud like shape, especially at the location where you can see the hole. They have a matte frosted appearance with the addition of some of the metallic Apollo gold, which tends to have a copper cast to it in certain areas. So it makes these beads a little bit more interesting to look at and something you could use easily in place of a basic round bead or pearl if you wanted something with a little bit of extra texture and the variation of the hints of metallic that we can see in some angles and the other aspects left a little bit more toned down, frosty, but also with the fastening that goes all around the outside. The second variety are the Crystal Sunset Half Cabochon Beads in the 6mm size. 50 pieces here that have been included and a really interesting bead because they aren't just a fire polish round, which it would be easy to mistake them for, but they have a flat base. So it makes them really great for bead weaving projects. Maybe if you want to incorporate them in a bracelet where you have the flat side facing down to be flat against your wrist. They're also a great candidate for bead embroidery because that flat base would allow them to sit appropriately on a fabric that you end up sewing these directly onto. And these also have the combination of the crystal clear and the gold metallic with most of the opacity being on the top side that is the domed area with the faceting, that bottom area left crystal clear but also looking sort of backlit from the gold shiny coating. And in this third selection, we have 60 pieces of the transparent champagne luster rondelles in the three by six millimeter size. These have a lot of transparency with just a hint of a silvery luster, still leaving these beads very much see-through, but elevating that shiny coating just a little bit. And in this variety, we have that sort of a sliced shape with the flat face and the faceting that goes all around the outside. Variety number four is 50 pieces of the Ionic white slash pink rounds in the six millimeter size. This is one of those newer, really interesting finishes that make these look like they're crackled and provides a bit of the look of texture without actually having a different feel or affecting the actual shape of these. And just like we expect in the Ionic varieties, there's a contrast of the shocks of bright pink veining that break up the white exterior. An example of another one of the really interesting Czech Fire Polish bead finishes that are out there. There's just so many different varieties. And that's another element that makes these fire polish clubs a really fun monthly surprise because there are so many possibilities for what you might receive. And with this one, you do end up getting several different sizes typically of the fire polished rounds. So this is just one of the sizes. And next we have something a little bit bigger. Here I have 20 pieces of the lemon matte rounds in the eight millimeter size. So this time having the combinations kind of subtle with some areas seeming to have more of the concentration of that bright yellow color and some being a little bit more of the clear, but also with that more matte and frosty finish and another classic shape and size of fire polish bead, which is so versatile and something you can use across so many different types of beading projects. For selection six, I thought these were right at first in the bag, but they're actually the fuchsia drops in the five by seven millimeter size, 40 pieces of these with that luscious berry pink color. These sort of reminding me a little bit of pomegranate seeds, although they do have the classic drop shape. The hole goes through the length of these drops 
and they do have some faceting on the outside and such a rich pink tone, which I think would look great, especially with those ionic white and pink rounds. These would really pick up the pink crackling detail in those beads if used in combination. But like they also have it suggested here, they would look very nice with the tones of gold. We've got some warm options to go along with this daybreak sunrise-like color scheme. For our seventh selection, we have 220 pieces to be exact of the alabaster half coat gold rounds in the three millimeter size. So this being our smaller fire polish round selection with the opaque white or alabaster that you see forming the base of these beads and then the metallic antique gold that shows up on approximately half of the outside. Another element that makes this type fun and interesting and also depending on how the beads are turned you get some subtle touches of sparkle. And for our eighth and final selection in this club we have the Lester Topaz rounds in the four millimeter size with 150 pieces included and this slightly brighter more amber toned gold which also has a lot of transparency to these rounds and these having that luster coating all around the surface amplifying the sparkle and reflective quality of those very uniformly pressed facets which make up the exterior. So that's everything together in the Fire Polished Club, all of the eight varieties with generous quantities in this double club. And again, if you want to receive the single club, it would be the same eight types, but you'd get half the quantities that you see here. Be sure to check out their website for all the details like that because there's just so much to choose from and depends on what you're looking for. So this is a great example of what you can expect in the Fire Polish Club. You get some basic rounds in a coordinating palette and some really exciting and unique finishes. In addition to some of the other fun shapes that are out there like the rondelles, the drops, the rosebuds, those half cabochon beads. These monthly packages being a great way to build up your stash of things you know you love to work with, receiving a varying palette each time. Next, we're going to open up the two whole beads of the month club. This is the single size in the selection called Bonfire. This one's going to contain mainly check glass beads with the occasional Miyuki Tila line added in and a great selection for people who are into bead weaving, especially and you like working with high quality multi-hole beads of all different sorts. There's tons of two hole beads out there. So these certainly aren't the only eight that you're gonna see show up in these packages. There is a listing on their website, I believe still, to give you even more examples of the bead types that you could see pop up in this one. And again, that's just part of the surprise and the lore, I think, of these subscriptions. A lot of times getting us to work with some materials maybe we haven't worked with before while also adding some new colors and finishes to your beading stash. So let's do a brief flip over before we take a look. And just like we expect from the name, I'm seeing some very fiery reds and coppers, a little bit of gold, and even some dark brown or almost black there in the corner of all different interesting shapes. And again, I'll take these out of the container before we take a look at them, going through each selection one at a time. Our first container was holding seven grams of the bronze red matte super Keops Parpuka beads. You'll see a lot of the Puka line of two hole beads, which can be used together, but can also be used in conjunction with anything your heart desires, really. They also work with a lot of other types of two hole and multi hole beads in addition to seed beads of course and whatever else you want to play around with. This selection is in a very classic copper like shade with a lot of saturation of color all around the entire pyramid shape with a flat base and two holes starting out on one side of those flat edges and going up and out either side of the point that is located opposite to that. In container number two, we have the metallic matte beige Tinos Parpuka beads with seven grams in total and another one of those saturated metallic varieties that is in a color that could actually lean both warm and cool depending on what you put these with. So it's a really versatile color to work 
into a design and you can see this unique trapezoid like shape it's got the two holes there parallel going up through that wider base and out through that more narrow top tube number three was holding one of those miyuki varieties this is the tila in the standard square shape looking like a flat tile seven grams of these included and they're in the galvanized gray luster so not only do they have that medium gray color that is opaque throughout, they also have the extra reflective and light catching outer coating that makes them a lot more shiny. All right, so I really enjoy when they do this from time to time when you see the Miyuki Tealas show up. We also have the other two sizes in the line, this time the half Tealas in the jet matte with seven grams of these as well. I thought they were black, but I wasn't quite sure if they were a dark brown. I was looking through the plastic, but as you can see, they're in a classic opaque jet black and just half the size pretty much of the standard more square Tila shape, meaning they can be a great option to put together if you want to mix and match the different Tila sizes together. And you can even put two of these together side by side to pretty much mimic the size of one Tila bead. And that's an interesting approach you can take to some patterns. For example, if they call for the standard size Tila bead, if you want to change things up a little bit, doing a half and half variety by using some half Tila's, or if you need the full size, you can put two of these together side by side and use them accordingly in some cases. And similarly, we have our next selection being the opaque red quarter Tila beads, seven grams of these. And these being, like it says, just about a quarter of the size of a regular Tila or about half the size of a half Tila in terms of its thickness, making these some smaller slivers, depending on how you use them, of that very bright fire engine red opaque glass in this very high quality and consistent Miyuki brand bead. For selection six, we have the Lava Red Drop Duos, 40 pieces of these in that skinny teardrop shape with the two holes running parallel through the side. These also having that smooth, more toned down metallic color saturation all around the exterior but definitely being in more of a tone of red rather than a copper. However, something that could coordinate with copper beautifully as well, just like we saw in the first selection with the bronze red Super Kiops. Also, by the way, if you see any of these little clogged holes, usually those are easy to punch through. Nine times out of 10, you can just use a bead awl or something sharp and pointy, even your beading needle in some cases to punch through those little holes if you see one like that. I just happened to catch that and thought I would mention it, especially because everything looks so much bigger when it's up close like that. Variety number seven is in the two hole cab shape. These are in jet gold shimmer. So it's really interesting. They've got a black opaque glass base and that golden shimmer that is located on the outside of the bead overall gives these more of an olive green appearance but still having some of that gold reflective quality and saturated metallic style. So with these cabs, you can see they've got a flat base and a more domed top that is smooth and rounded. Those two holes just running right over top of that flat base parallel through the bead. And our final two hole selection in the classic Super Duo shape, this time we have 12 and a half grams of the crystal gray rainbow super duos which shows up slightly differently from bead to bead and being another great crossover between some of the warmer and cooler tones with shades in there like the deep gray but also some of those beads having more of a golden cast and still as you can see a good quantity here in my hand a lot to work with even with the single varieties of the clubs I find and personally have worked with these a number of times and it's still surprising how much you can actually make with what you receive, even in the single club. And it also might give you a more affordable way to try out multiple clubs or a couple clubs at a time, rather than getting the larger quantities of one type every single month. 
So that is it for Bonfire, another very well curated selection and something different than what I've received recently, which I think is important when you are subscribing to something like this and you want to build up your stash. You don't want to receive the same exact things every single time in most cases. And these not only switch up the colors and the finishes, but also the two whole shapes where you might see some things you're more used to, say, like in the super duos, but perhaps something that's a little bit different that you haven't worked with as much or at all, like those super key ops. So this is another one that I highly recommend, and I do recommend all their different clubs. From my own personal experience, they are awesome to work with, very consistent, and if you already know you like working with the two whole shapes, chances are you'll be pleased with this subscription. Briefly, before we look at the final selection of beads, they also offer another perk to their members, and that is that they will put a brand new link at the bottom of each of those paper invoices that come with your packages. And if you type that into your computer, into your browser, it'll bring you to a site where you can download or print three brand new digital beading patterns that in many cases use some of these two whole shapes and other adventurous shapes like we might see in the final club, which is called Hot and Trendy. So over time, you can save those maybe to a file on your computer as well, and not only build up a bead stash, but a bead pattern library to go along with it. And for that final selection, here is Hot and Trendy, this time in the Eventide Blooms theme and color scheme, this one also containing eight different varieties of mainly check glass beads, but these could be single hole or multi hole. They could also feature some new and different finishes. So for this club, you might want to be more on the adventurous side of things and be willing to work with all sorts of different shapes and colors. A great way to expand out of your comfort zone, perhaps. So let's flip that over and I'm loving this selection of different pinks and purples, plum. We have some of those slipper metallics that bring in some other colorful metallic finishes and perhaps some capri gold down there. So once again, we'll enjoy taking a look at each of these up close. Up first, we have the etched full slipper at pellet beads, 35 pieces included. These being a more cylindrical barrel-like shape that have a center area that is a little bit more pinched or narrow than the other two ends. And that hole running directly through the center of that more pinched area. These being a one hole bead, of course, and having this great variety of the colorful metallic showing up with that slipper at finish. Some areas being more toned down and some being a bit brighter and a bit shinier, just depending on where you're looking. Second, we have the pink painted AB engraved pit beads. There's 12 of these included. An option you can use as a drop bead or you can weave together in a floral component. These having the hole located there at the side of that narrow portion and those etched lines showing up on both sides, letting some of that deeper pink shade settle in there as a contrast to that iridescent lighter pink that surrounds it. Our third selection, another one hole shape, is in the crystal slipper at side drilled teardrops, 12 pieces of those in the container. These having that hole that's located also at that more narrow portion of the teardrop, a lot of which is left clear or transparent, but then you get those hints of the slipperet with that rainbow of metallics, sort of like an oil slick effect with some magenta blue gold and even some silver areas showing up that you get hints of depending on how these beads are turned and woven in. I love this next addition in this navy blue color. These are called the mushroom beads in the pastel Montana. There's 30 pieces of these and they have an area that is pinched on one side, which is also where that hole is located, making these one of those bead shapes that pops up a little bit or hangs down a little bit, depending on how you're using it. And it's a shape that I featured last month in a tutorial using some mushroom beads from Beads of the Month Club in a different color and finish variety. I use these as a center of a floral component. So if you want, you can check out that video from last month. 
But I just love this suggestion of the navy blue color with some of these slipper varieties and also some of those purples and pinks. For selection five, we have seven grams total of the burgundy colored pinch beads, these three sided elongated shaped little beads that are very versatile and also can be used very nicely in making beaded beads. As one example, they fit together pretty snug when they're side by side, especially if turning them into a woven rounded shape. So these are more on the purple side of things, and they're also fully opaque with a satiny metallic appearance. For selection number six, here is one of our more adventurous shapes that you find in these clubs. This is the bridge bead, which happens to have three holes, as you can see, two on either side and one going up through that rounded portion in the center. There's six grams in total, and these are in the variety called Full Slipper It. So you're getting a double dose of that Slipper It coating showing up on both sides of the beads, not just one side or one part. And depending on how they're turned and what angle you're looking at them from, you get the different shades of blue and magenta in particular with some other tones of metallic as well, which also bring the entire palette together. Next is variety number seven. These are the Sapphire Capri Gold Rizzo beads, another one hole shape. Six and a half grams of these in another duo color style with the rich sapphire blue that has some transparency in combination with that Capri Gold that has a copper undertone showing up on portions of the surface. The shape being a small elongated drop style with the hole located on one side making them great for layering with some other drop style beads and sometimes using with petals in other beaded components as one example. And last but certainly not least, container eight, which was holding six grams of the chili pink bow tie beads, another three hole variety with a bit of a variegated finish mainly in that deep rose pink, but also having some areas with the shade of gold or yellow color subtly popping up and giving those a little bit of additional interest. And there's a look at one of the bow tie beads from the side, those three holes going up and down and spaced out at an equal distance throughout. And also something that works really well with the bridge bead shape that we received in this package too. So those being something you could definitely use together. And that rounds out our final Even Tide Blooms Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month Club. So there we have it, another wonderfully curated selection that you can tell has been well thought out and even brings in some of those interesting slipper finishes together with more solid colors and really creating that cohesive palette that we see and lots of options for items that you can use together or combine with things you already have in your stash. So again, there's tons of different bead shapes out there that could be incorporated in the Hot and Trendy Club. These are just eight different examples of things you might see, but I do have an entire playlist of tons of unboxings of more of the Hot and Trendy Clubs and all of the different clubs that Beads of the Month has to offer. So if you haven't checked those out and you want to see some more examples, you can definitely find that playlist, which will be linked up in the corner. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you. As usual, you all make it so much more fun to unbox these packages, getting to share them with you, and hopefully giving you the opportunity to see what these subscriptions are all about and to compare and contrast the different options that are out there so you can see what is right for you. So I'm actually not going to have unboxings for Beads of the Month for the months of August and September. I have been sharing these for over five years now, and I don't think I've missed a single month of the Beads of the Month clubs that have come in. And in fact, I usually do two different videos for these on a monthly basis, which I love to do. However, for some personal reasons, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a respite, which is not something I'm used to doing, but something that is sorely needed right now and will hopefully help catapult some new and fun things after that time period. 
So it was truly a hard decision. I hate to do that because I don't want to let anyone down. And I know some of you watch these unboxings, specifically Beads of the Month, religiously, especially if you're on the same rotation and we can unbox them together. So thank you so much for understanding this little break. But I do want to share that there will be another option for unboxings for the next couple months and beyond that, of course. But I have been informed that there is another YouTuber you can check out. Her name is Teresa. It's Teresa with Teresa's Handmade Jewelry. And for the next two months, she'll be on the same rotation that I would be on and that you may be on. So if you want to check out her channel, maybe go ahead and subscribe in advance. That way you'll see those when they pop up. But she'll also be sharing some tutorials along with the package unboxings. So hopefully that'll give you some inspiration during this time, which will probably end up flying by. And I can't wait to see you guys on the other side of that. And I will leave a link to Teresa's channel in the corner and or down below as well. So you can find that down there in the description section, along with the link to Beads of the Month Club, their brand new crystals companion pack, and that coupon code OPAL10 if you'd like to use that to save 10% off the first month of one of your first clubs. So that wraps it up for now. I hope you enjoyed checking out these three different Beads of the Month clubs up close along with the two companion packs. Their brand new crystals are now available to add on to any beading subscription. So thank you to Beads of the Month Club for allowing me to introduce that package to you all and for giving us another companion pack option to bolster up some of the other clubs and help those of us who were missing the Swarovski crystals. Thank you all too, of course, for being here. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here if you haven't already, while there will be a little bit of a gap from this video to the next Beads of the Month Club unboxing. I do have more videos coming up this month and lots more to come. So I hope to see you again in the not so distant future. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And in the meantime, as always, happy beading. Thank you.